When you go to jail, you are stripped of all of your freedoms. Inmates, though, are always looking to express themselves, and one way is through art. Penny your size, Jason Marks is here now. And Jason, there are many talented people who are behind bars. We had a chance to visit with some of the inmates in some of the local jails, and the art is simply amazing, especially considering what they're working with, lack of supplies. Now that art is being displayed, giving us a rare glimpse into what inmates are feeling. I feel a little bit uh, happier that you, you came here to look at it. When it comes to art. My imagination, I see it as a horse. Everyone sees something different. You don't see it. <laughs> what do you see? And at the Chrysler Museum in Norfolk. But while you look at it, you get this deep emotional connection. From the paintings. Everybody will see something different, and I can guarantee it. To the photography. Everything's white. And then there's these, these little pieces of black that just jump out at you. There is no doubt. This is different. Plenty for the eyes. It's something that uh, kind of unique. Just 26 minutes away from the Chrysler. We make mistakes. Some get caught, some don't. Time is all inmates inside the Virginia Beach Jail have. There's actually a lot of really good people in here. With plenty of hidden talents. I mean, I was actually a struggling artist on the street. Jonathan LeCount has been here for 17 months. Drugs. Drugs. Not sure when he'll get out. I still haven't gone to uh, sentencing yet. He, like most inmates, has been painted with a broad stroke. And there's some amazing artists in here. That includes Brian Mangum, who has struggles with alcohol. Someone leaves you, you're, you're, you're sad, you're lonely, you go to drinking. Someone dies, you go to drinking. It's a little embarrassing being in jail. William Kroom was in the Norfolk jail for driving drunk. I try to do a little bit of this to keep my mind off of my children and my family. This is to create a design. I want this color here, like a light brown. Get your little deodorant here. Using whatever supplies inmates are allowed to have. And you'd be amazed what people come up with while they're locked up. I draw my fingertip. Most of this was done with my fingertip because it, it's, uh, you can smoothly shade with it. And when they're finished, the imagination. Where, where did this come from? And the talent uh, will certainly I mean, blow you away. A lot of stuff just comes out of my head. So this is Elle Fanning, uh, found her picture in a magazine. So basically it's Jesus without drawing Jesus on the cross. The finished products. It's incredible. Worthy of hanging in a gallery. But that's, that's very good. You know, that looks, almost looks like the artists that you see in resorts in the boardwalk. The inmates, well, they're behind bars. It's insane. But their art isn't just down the hall from all of those priceless works. If they didn't tell you, you would never think that that had toothpaste and butter and Doritos bag and magazines in it. On exhibition at the Chrysler. I think it's pretty pretty cool to uh, get some positive out of all of this. People are massively talented. And though the inmates can't see it, a lot of people put a bad name on us because, you know, we're in jail. There is comfort knowing everyone else can. Anything's possible if you put your mind to it and take your time and, you know, I guess anybody could end up where I am now, you know, make the one bad decision. And the Beyond the Block program is only growing. I'm told next year organizers are planning to include several more area jails. The exhibit runs at the Chrysler until January 13th. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.